Hello everyone, my name is Allison Burton and I'm the programmer for the North Adams Library. Now, our theme for today is forest animals. So, I'm going to start with a rhyme called, I am a squirrel. I am a squirrel in a tall, tall tree. I like to look around and see, see, see. I am picking acorns for my lunch. I love the way they crunch, crunch, crunch. Sometimes I stretch my arms up to the sky, take a leap and start to fly. Now, our book for today is Daylight, Starlight, Wildlife. Written and illustrated by Wendell Miner and published by Nancy Paulson Books. Copyright 2015. The sun shines on earth, bringing the light and warmth of day. Do you know these daylight visitors? Then earth spins away from the sun, bringing the darkness and cool of night. Do you know these starlight visitors? By day, sharp-eyed red-tailed hawk soars high in the sky and scans the earth for food. In the stillness of night, wide-eyed barn owl silently swoops through the sky. At dawn, fluffy cottontail rabbit and her kits hop into the field and hold still till all is safe. At night, pink-nosed opossum plods through the field and forages for food with her family on her back. Bright tiger swallowtail butterfly floats and flutters in the summer sunshine. Named for the moon, luminous luna moth only comes out at night. Graceful white-tailed deer finds her fawn hiding in the flower-filled field. On a frigid night, crafty red fox carefully listens, then crouches and quickly pounces. Chubby mother woodchuck and her cubs waddle out to munch in the meadow. Fearless mother skunk leads her litter through the field to find a midnight snack. Speedy gray squirrel scurries all day in search of acorns to store for winter. Flying squirrel glides gracefully from tree to tree through the starlit night. Brightly colored box turtle shuffles through the tall grass, searching for slugs and snails and strawberries. Warty Toad will stick out his sticky tongue to slurp down a nighttime meal of moths. Small striped chipmunk perches on a pumpkin to fill his cheeks with goodies from the garden. Sprightly deer mouse scampers down a log and finds a firefly. As the sun rises, stealthy bobcat and her kitten scope out the summer landscape. On a cold winter's night, clever coyote howls beneath the stars to call to his pack. Colorful red cardinal welcomes the sunrise with a sweet song. As night falls, 
The song of brown-eyed barred owl fills the forest. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo hoo oo. As our world turns from night to day, critters big and small come and go. While you're resting, are raccoons racing by under the cover of night? Who knows what the light of morning will bring? Look and listen. What wonderful wildlife is visiting you? Now we have some fun facts about forest animals. Red-tailed hawks are the most common hawks in North America. They like to soar over open fields and with their very keen eyesight, they can easily spot a mouse while in flight. Barn owls are silent in flight due to their soft fringe-edged feathers. They have excellent hearing for hunting in the darkest of nights. Cottontail rabbits mostly hop along slowly, but if they are spotted by a predator, they can run up to 18 miles an hour. Opossums are the only marsupials, pouched mammals, native to the United States. Baby opossums stay in their mother's pouch for the first few months, then ride on her back until they are ready to hunt on their own. Tiger swallowtail butterflies have yellow and black stripes resembling a tiger's and long tails on each hind wing that resemble a swallow's. Luna moths are sometimes called moon moths. They have no mouth and cannot feed, so they live for only a few days and are a rare sight. White-tailed deer mothers are protective of their young. While they forage for food, their fawns stay hidden nearby, camouflaged against the forest floor. Red foxes stalk their prey and often pounce to catch them. Their excellent hearing allows them to easily pinpoint the location of their prey. Woodchucks, also known as groundhogs, put on weight in spring and summer to store energy for winter hibernation. A woodchuck can eat a whole pound of vegetation in one sitting. Skunks look very distinctive with their black and white furry coats. When threatened, skunks relieve a pungent smelling spray to ward off any enemies. Gray squirrels come in a variety of shades of gray, black, orange, and brown. They are very noisy for their size, often barking and chattering, and can eat two pounds of nuts a week. Flying squirrels have a special membrane between their front and back legs that allows them to glide through the air like a kite. They have very large black eyes that help them see at night. Box turtles have a beautiful dome-shaped shell with yellow, orange, black, and or olive markings. These turtles can live up to 80 years. American toads live on the land as adults, but start their life as tadpoles in water. Toads eat spiders, slugs, earthworms, and lots of insects. Chipmunks have cheek pouches that can enlarge to three times bigger than their heads. They are used to transport food. Deer mice are plentiful, and female deer mice can have many litters in one year. They are adept climbers and like to play at night in woodland areas. Bobcats are named for their short bobbed tail. These wildcats are excellent hunters who are very territorial.
A typical bobcat litter will have one to six kittens. Coyotes have very keen vision and a sharp sense of smell, making them expert hunters. They howl to communicate and to keep track of their family. Cardinals have 16 different calls, but their most familiar call is their classic cheer, cheer, cheer. The male cardinal is known for its brilliant red color, while the brown females have a sharp crest and red accents. Barred owls are named for the distinctive stripes on their breast. Their night call sounds like the pattern of the words, who cooks for you? Wild turkeys have 20 different calls, including their unique gobble gobble sound. They can fly up to 55 miles per hour, but only for short distances. Raccoons have a distinctive black mask across their eyes. They are very smart foragers and have learned how to take the lids off trash cans and unlatch doors. The end. Now, a craft you can make to go along with this book is a forest animal craft, like this sponge painted owl. To make this, first you'll need to print and cut out the owl template on a piece of cardstock paper. Then you can paint it whatever colors you want using a sponge. Once the paint dries, you'll need to cut out two wings, two eyes, and one beak and glue them on. Then you have made your very own owl. Also, another forest themed book you can read is A Forest in the City by Andrea Curtis and Pierre Pratt, which you can access using your library card and pin on Hoopla Digital. The links to each of these can be found in this video's description. Thank you all for watching, have a great day, and stay healthy!